hi welcome back to new lesson in this lesson we are going to discuss about the arm instruction set they are mainly these instruction set are categorized into many types such as a data processing instruction branch type of instructions load storage instruction software instruction logical instructions program status instructions and so on so in this first tutorial we are going to discuss about the data movement or data processing instructions data data processing instructions and uh, in this data processing instructions we have the first instruction which we are going to discuss that is a move instruction set okay and one more important thing is to notice here is that we will be also using a suffix and the suffix is s okay so this suffix we will use when we want to update status registers that's mean update status register okay great and uh, apart from this what we can do we can let's take uh, now the uh, move instruction first let's discuss this move instruction in detail okay so this move instruction it has a syntax type its syntax is like this there will be instruction and then it will be a condition code if there is a condition and then there will be suffice s and then finally there will be the destination register and then finally a number n so what we can see what we can say about this this condition and this one is the optional okay and this rd is destination register and this n is a 32 bit value 32 bit int value right now if we need to write this instruction then how we can write this we can write like this let's say we have a two register r5 which is loaded with 5 and we have another register R7 which is loaded with 8 and now we are going to write this instruction move R7 and R5 this means it will put this R5 value into R7 one thing I have intentionally written here is that I have written this into capital and here it is a small letter in while coding into the arm actually it does not matter but for the simplicity and to maintain the continuity what you can do uh, either you can write it into the capital or into a small letter so here I am going to write it into a small letter right R7 and R5 so in this case after the processing this instruction r5 would be the same that will be not changed but the r7 will be changed and it will be loaded with the same value as a r5 right so this is a very simple uh, example to use a move instruction so always remember this there is instruction and then there is condition and then s that is the suffix 
So the mostly we use the suffix while we are using with the barrel shifter. Okay. Uh, the barrel shifter, I think now we can discuss about the barrel shifter. Uh, if you have seen my previous videos, in, in, in the previous videos I had shown you uh, how the barrel shifter plays an important role into a CPU operation. So we are going to draw once again a viral sector. Here we have a CPU. And then we have a viral sector here. Okay. And then here is a result RM. Sorry, the source resistor that's the RM. There is another resistor that is Rn. Okay. And uh, then the result will be produced, let's say N. And finally, this is the CPU ALU. And the final result will be placed into the destination resistor. So how it works? It takes directly, it feeds directly this Rn resistors into the ALU and it do some logical operation at the RM resistors and then finally perform operation between RN and the N and then place the result into the RD. So let's try to understand this with an example. Let's say here we have another example which says that R5 is equal to the 5 and R7 equal to the 8. And here we have instruction set that says move R7, R5 with LSL, that's the logical shift left by two digit. Do you know that that means it will first shift this R5 left. So here R5 is 5. And if I um, sew it into um, binary digits, then it will be the 0, 0, and then 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. That's the 5 into 8 bit. And this says that shift this R5 by 2 digit, that's mean here, then it will become 0, 0, and 0, this 3, 0. And then finally here it comes 1 and then 0 1 and then 0 0. So you see here this becomes this 4 and 4. So here this becomes how much? R7 becomes 20. Since this is a 16, this is corresponding to the 16 and this is corresponding to 4. And after this operation, what it do? It plays this R7 is equal to R5. We can say logical shift left 2. And in that case, it becomes R7 is equal to 20. So here, after this operation, R5 is a 5, but R7 becomes 20. So this is the use of a, this is use of a barrel shifter. And this is really very great and a very powerful hardware into our microcontroller which do pre-operation before feeding the resistor into the ALU. So now let's take what are the instructions which we can perform, what are the pre-process which we can perform with the barrel shifter. So those commands are LSL that is logical shift left. We have also LSR that is logical shift right. Then we have ASR that is arithmetic shift right which, which preserve the sign. And then we have ROR that is the rotate right. And then we have RRX that is rotate right extended. 
right great so one two three four five so in the same way what we can write here this instruction this instruction we can write like this also move r7 r5 lsr has to or we can write it as is sr has 3 or we can write let's say the ror has 5 so this value would be anything in between 0 to 31 actually okay so this value between 0 to 31 okay and then similarly we can write here as rr x has 26 okay so these are the instructions command available to pre-process via barrel shifter into our microcontrollers right and uh, apart from this what we can do let's uh, discuss another uh, another uh, another instruction which uh, we had uh, discussed earlier to uh, by adding this s suffix okay so by adding this s suffix into a move instruction okay so let's add a s suffix into our new instruction set that we are going to do let's say move s then r0 r1 and then lsl has one so as earlier i told you if we apply this s here this s represents that update status register okay so with this operation whatever will be the result according to that status register will be updated for the sake of the simplicity let's assume that cpsr is equal to for the sake of simplicity let's assume that cpsr is equal to nz cvq I F T into user mode right and let's say R0 is equal to 0x00 zero 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 and similarly R1 is equal to 0x zero and if we perform this operation move r1 into r0 then what r0 becomes with logical shift left okay so with the logical shift left r0 becomes 0x 0 0 0 0 and 8 and r and r1 would be the same so if you see here this has updated here and and one more thing if you might have noticed is that after shifting the carry was occurred that's mean the higher bit was discarded that was 8 that was this one okay so 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 this was discarded and it was shifted by one that's been multiplied by two so this four becomes eight here okay so in that case cpsr would be updated according to the final result according to this result and the new cpsr would be engine now c would be the capital vq i f and t user mode that means when i say here the capital that means c equal to 1 that means q 
कैरी अकड़ इन प्रीवियस ऑपरेशन ना यू कैन आस्क व्हाट इज द यूज टू अपडेट दिस फ्लैग स्टेटस रजिस्टर सो नाउ वंस यू अपडेटेड दिस स्टेटस फ्लैग रजिस्टर नाउ वी कैन अप्लाई अ कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट नाउ वी कैन apply or write conditional instruction if we write a conditional instruction such as add if carry occur so now the question is what are the conditional statements or conditional instructions okay so the conditional instructions we have many conditional instructions such as add if carry occurred or subtract with a carry and reverse subtract with a carry etc so which we will be discussing into the next lecture thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day